Hey, it's Liz Ewell from Old Stables Crafts. Thank you for joining me for another Top Tip Tuesday. So, by the time you watch this, I will have been to New Orleans and will have just got back, probably with horrific jet lag. Having only been there for four nights, probably just about got over the jet lag getting to New Orleans, just in time to get it back, coming the other way. Anyway... My name is Liz Ewell, as I've said. I am an independent stamping up demonstrator based in the UK and working across the UK, France, Germany, Austria and the Netherlands. Thank you for joining me. If you need any stamping up products and you're in any of those countries, I would be thrilled if you would try out my customer service. I am trying to earn the incentive trip. Uh, this is a really in important incentive trip for me because it's it's been rescheduled it was going to be a baltic cruise it's now a norwegian cruise um and one of the stops is in bergen which is where i spent best part of two weeks with my father who had been taken ill on a cruise um and was admitted to bergen hospital for a pacemaker this is oh three four years ago um it was fairly stressful i expected to be there for a couple of days um two weeks later because of various health issues that he had we got home um so it'd be lovely to go back to bergen as a tourist and it's equally important to me because my husband won't fly and this is one of the very 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 rare incentive trips that starts from the uk so he would be able to go on it so if you are able to place an order to help me get the points I need for the incentive trip I would be so grateful and you can try out my customer service and hopefully you will agree that it was worth the try anyway enough blether today's Tuesday so it's top tip Tuesday so let's flip the camera down and have a look at what we're up to so this is a file it's really unexciting but it's not in a way um, I get a lot of questions about how I store cardstock and how I store my scraps. There are all sorts of different ways of storing your scraps. I have tried lots of them and this is the one that I've been using now for, oh, it's at least two years because it was before the pandemic because I got the furniture that goes with this from Ikea and it's actually an office filing cabinet that sits under my desk because I stand to craft the joys of sciatica um so i use the space under my desk for storage for my uh card and foils and all sorts of things go under my desk so i pulled one of them out this happens to be called mint macaron because it's the one for my mint macaron um i don't know if ikea still do the filing cabinet that i use if they do i will find the link and link it below um but any filing cabinet would work I like the ones that hang short and fat rather than long and thin. Um, you can get both, but this is the, these are the ones that I choose. And these are the, um, the hanging folders that come with it. So in my mint macaron um, hanging file, I have got a new pack of mint macaron. I don't have a new pack in every colour. Um, what I do is I wait until I'm down to about half or a third of a pack and then I order a new one just in case I suddenly need lots because I do do uh, mixed card packs. So if you want a card pack that goes with a suite um, or some designer series paper, uh, you can you can do that. Uh, the information on that I think is on my website and if it's not, I'll make sure it is. Um, but... Yes, so I do all of the um, the designer series paper packs as a product share. So you, if you chose, oh, I don't know, um, Santa's Express, then I would have card that goes with that designer series paper available. So I've got one, two, three, four pieces of mint macaron left, which is why I've also got the full pack of A4 card. And then I have one of these. Now these are, I think they're called job, t job ticket folders. Anyway, the link to them 
is in the description bar. It's there all the time because I do get so many questions about it. And this goes into the same hanging file. Um, I'm trying to see if I can get one that's sealed here and open here because it goes in that way, but this works fine for me. Uh, and in here, I put all of my scraps of this color, literally all of them. So this one's from a die cut. This is another one from a die cut. Um, and I pop everything into this folder, little strips. So if I wanted to do heat embossing uh, for a sentiment, I've got the little strips. Um, I've got extra die cuts, um, bigger pieces, literally everything that I have reduced from A4, or if you're in North America, that would be letter um, size, goes into my wallet. And it means that if I'm looking for, say, a layer for a card, I can pull out this piece of paper and go, this piece of card and go, is that going to be big enough for what I want? So rather than cutting into a new full sheet, I can use the pieces that I've got left. And as I say, I've been using this system now for well over two years. And this is the one that works for me. I've had standalone folders. I've had LibreArch Libre files with similar wallets in all sorts. And I never looked at them. This is the system that works for me. It means I know that if I want mint macaron card, I can go to my drawer, find the mint macaron and find what I need. And if the answer is I need to start a new sheet, then I haven't got to go somewhere else to find that new sheet. I've got it here ready to go. And about once a month when I'm closing off my workshop um, host code, I'll go through my folders and find whether I need more card um, so if this was if this wasn't here and I went and did my um, inventory I go okay I've only got four sheets of mint macaron let's order a new pack and it's as simple as that and it works certainly for me so um, I hope you found that helpful let me flip the camera up again so as I say I hope you found that helpful um, different people's brains work in different ways and as I say, I've tried so many different ways. I've even stopped now preparing card bases and layers before I craft because I found I didn't look at them. The only things that I prepare are uh, very vanilla and basic white, the smooth card for stamping. Everything else I now cut as I need it. Um, otherwise I end up with bits that I then forget I've got or they faded because they're not in a drawer and this is a light room. Um, so yeah, it works for me. I hope you found that helpful. As I say, I'll try and find the, um, the furniture that I use from Ikea and actually I won't list it below. I will pop it over. Oh, will I? No, no, I can list it, list it below. Sorry, my brain's trying to work around how's the best way. I will also list it from on my blog post um, and you can get to that by clicking the associated blog post so have a look at that and as I say if I can find the item I will list it if I find something that's similar um, I'll say similar item and list that but it was from Ikea so it's hopefully something similar will be available in your country because not everything in Ikea is everywhere in the world Anyway, enough blether. Thank you very much indeed for watching. Have a fantastic rest of your day. You will find me again here again at 11 o'clock this morning. I will be shattered because it will have, it will be the day after I get back from New Orleans. So I will be, my brain will be somewhere, but probably not here. But I will be here at 11 o'clock. So thank you very much again. And I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye bye.